Here we go. Here's the uh, Hall of Fame introduction for Adam. So beyond this, Adam, you got to, uh, after this, send me a sound clip that you want to have uh, Audubon Pal say for you. And there you go. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Adam. Congratulations on your 25,000 points. Congratulations, Adam. Welcome. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. I hope you, uh, you feel properly introduced. Okay, let's do the ring fitting now. <laughs> okay. Uh, headphones. Well worth the wait. Okay, so this is gonna be fine. This works. Put thing in thing. Open up the other thing. Go back to the stuff. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty memorable moment, I'd say. Oh man, I remember I. I made the video using this like stupid website or whatever, right? I may have just like even Googled like stupid video maker just because it's like I didn't want to bother doing it myself in Premiere or whatever, right? It's like we need a Hall of Fame video, but it needs to be, uh, it needs to be far lower rent than, uh, anything I would actually like make custom and then I got to the end and they're like okay you gotta pay us five bucks to get your video now I was like like hell I do <laughs> so I, I just did it's like I'm a live streamer I don't know how this works so I just did like a, a screen capture there's no uh, there's no option for uh, feeling woozy because I got vaccinated Kind of, yeah. Keep like this. So just this screen capture of it. And so you can see the cursor moving around in the video. The other thing that happened is like by the time I got to the end, there was like way more panels than I had like found stupid pictures for. <laughs> so it was just like, man, just leave the temp art in. Anyways, if you want to send me a, um, a, uh, a little sound clip, just like a little audio bomb pal thing, I'll uh, add it as a command. If you do, like, exclamation point, um, break the spark. You'll see one of them. En descendant, évitez de mettre votre poids sur le pied en avant. You get a sense of what it's like. Faites en sorte de garder le bas du dos bien droit. Five dollars, exactly. Like my foot. Donnez le poids de chaque côté. Bien. 
écartez les pieds et passons aux étirements latéraux. Levez le rincon et penchez-vous sur le côté. Attention à ne pas vous pencher en avant. Yeah, it's a nice little thing, right? It's a nice little thank you. I think Greg's sound is from uh, Hollow Knight. What I recall. I should really play that game. I should really play Hollow Knight. I'm also rooting for me today, so that makes two of us tip. Does that work? I think that's fine. Nice! Oh baby. I'm gonna hit this button. It doesn't drive me crazy. Geonode! <laughs> I'm okay with that, that works. It's like yeah, iconic. You know, people know and love it. You never got that far into it. I know Greg really loves it. Oh, we've got we've got Joy-Con drift today. Um, I know Greg loves it and swears by it and has been wanting me to play it for a very long time. But uh, you know. I just don't always have time for these things. I've been starting to play through um, FF7, which has been a lot of fun. We just got to the Shinra building last night. Bust into the lobby. I have some opinions about that. Oh, I, I guess I screwed that up, kind of. But it's okay. You can usually do these in much less. Than uh, 360. The original. Oh, yeah. Go do your thing.
There we go. Ça au moins, c'est une belle suée. À présent, convertissez votre entraînement en point d'expérience en prenant la pose de la victoire. Mm -hmm, we get it. Abaissez votre bassin pour charger votre puissance et tirez votre. Hooray! Fantastic. We did it. The basic thing. Woo woo woo. Okay. Ah uh, no. Okay. Type something up here real quick. Forgive me for the indiscretion. Do 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 do. do. Uh, grab this mouse thing. It's good for inputs. Uh, and I just need a little quick link. Delete this. Why are you so stupid? Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, bonjour. What's up, Casey? My arms. It's magnetic now. I can I can speak Russian. All because of my arm. Put it back. Are you enjoying F7? Is the masterpiece that everyone raised for? I think so. I think it's very, very good. FF7 is definitely like a game of its time where you can tell that they were still figuring out what it meant to make a JRPG in a 3D console, you know, in a, in a, in a hardware age where you could have polygons and stuff. Um, and so there's definitely some like goofy things that really are never in RPGs anymore that make a lot of sense. Like it's, there's like weird 3D gameplay stuff there that I'm glad we didn't see returning to, to JRPGs over and over again. Um, but it is really good. I mean, at the core, there's a cool world, there's great characters, and there's just like solid JRPG uh, gameplay. So, the music is actually incredible too, though. Like, one of the best soundtracks of all time sort of situation. So, that definitely adds to it. How you doing, can't she? How's good life treating you? We inducted uh, Geo My Dude into the Hall of Fame today. It's pretty exciting. No. So we need to make a mixed chart. Yeah, it's really good. It's worth playing for sure. It's really good. There's no other, there's really no other way to put it, right? It's just very fun. I, I played, uh, I never, I've never beaten it. I played quite a bit of it back in the day but only on a friend's system that I had borrowed. Um, and over the course of a bunch of different weekends, right? Like it wasn't all in one go. So it wasn't a very good playthrough. So I'm glad that I'm finally making the time to come around to it and enjoy it again. Uh, Cause it is indeed a very good, very fun video game for all the boys and girls of the world. I have Joy-Con Drift today. I don't know, I came back. So that's the one with the quest. You played FF7 last year. How did you feel about it, Kanchi? Plus 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, please, please. Do, 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 Okay. It's, it's, if my memory serves correctly, I remember you saying that you had a lot of fun playing it. But that there was like a lot of like, like outdated old, old timey stuff that made it kind of like hard to enjoy sometimes and very strange. How the game is good but also weird. Yeah. More or less, right? Let's give it to him. Give the man the next charge. That's what he wants. Awesome, you gave me two rubies for a smoothie. Oh. What a trade. Sorry, I'm, I'm mashing through the plot of Wolverine Pit. I hope that's okay. Oh, well, he, want, he wanted the smoothie for him, but she ends up drinking it. Very funny. Mm -hmm. It's a very silly game. I think a lot of people, when they think about uh, most Final Fantasy games, they think about them as being sort of like gritty and dark and, you know, filled with angsty characters who are always frowning and mad at each other. But also in a lot of ways, like, they're extremely silly games. Yeah, there is a lot of, <laughs> like all the chocobo racing, the submarine game. Totally. I think that it makes sense that, uh, you know, the jo oops, we're dealing with Joy-Con Drift today. I haven't had a problem with it for a while, but uh, here we are. The, um, yeah, as I said, there's definitely like things about the game that I'm not sad to see go, or like as a as a genre, you know, RPGs. I think I haven't moved on beyond it, but like there's like a I think a better sense of when those things are called for and, and are fun and appreciated, and when those things are detractors, right? Did you play Xenoblade Chronicles Two? Can't you? The Chocobo is a very deep and serious creature. Yes, exactly. With lots of frowning. With lots of lots of grimaces towards the camera. Um, I think sometimes people say forget some things about uh, Zelda games too, right? Do you remember Tiger Tiger in uh, Season of Blade Chronicles 2? Alright, okay, let's kill some dudes. Yeah, let's do this. It's been a bit. Come on. Oh, yeah, these guys are pushovers. I forgot what world we were in. Clearly we're in world early. If I hear the music from uh, Dragon Hunter, or Monster Hunter, that reminds me of this game, I'll point it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Man, Tiger Tiger was fun. Poppy was a weird character, eh? <laughs> There's definitely some parts of the, the Poppy story arc that are uncomfortable. Oui, 
Oui, c'est ça Fantastique Joli There you go. This is what happens when you revisit the older worlds. The earlier content in the game. Picture. The game's like, okay, yeah, you're having fun, Liam. Just don't have too much fun. I think because this is like a double-sided one, we're doing all uh, 44 of these. The green guy on the, on the side is holding out a bit. My left arm is definitely still a little sore from the vaccine, though. Super. Oh well. Super. We'll see how I hold together. Oui, c'est ça. Bravo. Bien. I mean, for what it's worth, Super. Tiger Tiger was a fun arcade game. It's funny that, like, inside the Scene of Lake Chronicles. Super. An RPG, ostensibly. There is an arcade game that's better than some other arcade games. The first Splatoon had that happening too, right? For those all those little mini games you can play in between rounds. I love that stuff. If you turn the game down just a hair here. This game actually has pretty, a pretty wide dynamic range. Like the difference between loud and quiet is quite a bit. I made some good progress on uh, a Game Boy game project recently. I've got, uh, I've started making tiles for, uh, all the different sprites, so to speak. The sprites are not going to be as exciting, say, as in, uh, other games you may have played, because the sprites are stuff like numbers. <laughs> because, like, instead of Mario being a Bowser in this game, you just do math. Oh, that's been fun. It's good to make progress. It's good to see it come together. There's a sprite limit on the Game Boy of 10 sprites per row. I'm a little worried that that might limit us. into like how big of a number you could show. <laughs> but I also found the idea of having like that sprite flickering in order to show a number. I find that kind of funny. <sighs> you know, like a calculator is pushing the hardware limits of a, of a Game Boy. Okay, we're just gonna do these guys in a couple lots. Yeah, usually it's not so bad. Usually it's not so bad, but uh, today I was listening to music louder than it normally does. How much can you hear it through the mic? Boom, boom. Can you hear it that loud? I guess it's loud enough to be able to hear it, right? <laughs> no, no. 
relatively last. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Is it distracting? Is it ruining your experience? Part of it is that, like, I have the mic on quite loud in order to pick up my voice on the other side of the room. It would be less of an issue if uh, we were just playing regular games. I have the mic up much lower in those situations. And I'm, like, right on top of it, speaking right into it. You're good? That's good. Loud enough to make you curious about what it is. Oh, okay, yeah. You're just trying to identify. That's fair. Maybe I eat. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do. That's just life living in the city. You gotta deal with other people's noises. So this exercise is just sort of stopped being difficult at all, which is kind of unfortunate, but it makes sense because the thing that's giving you resistance here is just the weight of your arm. So there was a time when I remember I felt some difficulty doing these tricep kickbacks or whatever they're called. But yeah, they just kind of don't, I just don't feel it anymore. The, with the um, exercises where you push in on the ring, it's a little different because you're supplying your own resistance to your own exercise, right? Because the stronger you are, the more you can push, which means the more your other arm has to stabilize. I guess the thing to do is just to try to keep increasing the range of motion. But in that way, some of the exercises age better than others, right? Bouclier. Oh yeah, I remember that from uh, uh, Monster Hunter. The Bouclier. It's the uh, abdominal Bouclier. <laughs> Defense power increased. That's not gonna work. Do as a farm. Is there a farm? Yeah, I'm playing shield. I remember that because there's the uh, the uh, Fusa Pelelors has uh, an attachment that's a bouclier. Is there a farm in Xenoblade 2? I completely forget. The thing is, is that like, there very, very well could be a farm. <laughs> like, you have to play, you have to play Harvest Moon in the middle of, in the middle of Xenoblade. To me, that's believable. I don't remember it, but. There's also that, that DLC that adds like, 20 hours to the game or something, right? I think it's called like Torna, the Golden Country or something.
We're using the word farming or to farm in English. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know what you mean. I was just thinking like, if you t if you told me that there was a secret mini game inside of Xenoblade Chronicles Two where you have to run a farm, I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> If you're like, oh yeah, yeah, there's a city you go to, and there's a guy you talk to, and if you give him this item, then he gets you a plot of land on one of the Colossals or Titans or whatever, and you can grow some crops. Yeah. It's just like Stardew Valley is in its entirety is stuck in the middle of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I would have completely believed you. So, in what way do you think um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 does a good job with the farming? I'm curious about that. Uh, so, these ingredients. Yeah, we got all this HGH to down. Sweet. Okay. Do 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 do. Boop bum. Boop -doo -dee. Oh, you're not saying it's a good job. It was just an interesting experiment. Okay, we can do that. Am I just supposed to go do it? I don't want to do that. What's this guy saying? Also battle gym. I want to do something different. We just did that. We just did that. Uh, let's go here. Do, 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 do. I remember thinking that this was a particularly hard and long run to do. The gacha thing, the rare weapon, and playing a whole new game in order to upgrade your character. Yeah. There's lots going on. Yeah. Where game machine? Do I have all of them? Game machine, paddle machine, abs master, fitness machine, game machine, plank flamingo, game machine. Do I have game machine shoes? Entirely possible. Yes, I do. Sweet. This one's easy. Inspired by the game machine clothes. Yeah, I think a lot of times it's like uh, it's nicer to play a game that attempts something and kind of botches it than to have a game that's just completely. Regular, you know what I'm saying? We just go within 180 steps. I'm into it. Sunset run there. Where's Coral Snake? There we go. Let's go do this level. Yeah, there's, there's definitely games out there that, like, I've played, and all of the game was more or less pretty good. But as a result, it just wasn't interesting enough in any particular category to make me, to make me care about it. Does that make sense? So in some cases, I think it's almost better to, like, try and fail. I guess this is the real question about 
a design, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just... Oh, right. Maybe that's just me speaking from a perspective of somebody who plays a ton of games, right? Maybe if it was my absolute very first JRPG or whatever, and the game was using, like, completely normal, basic JRPG stuff, I might not know better, and it might blow me out of the water. Kind of hard to say, right? I can definitely feel that I have more strength in my right arm right now than in my left. Time for to fly. Pressing the wrong button. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. Whoa. That's silly Dashley. I guess she's going from world to world. Because her her uh, jobs keep on showing up in lots of wacko random places. Okay. I guess there's a lot of ways to do something refreshing and rewarding. <clears throat> mm. One of them is to try something new and to do something that uh, a player has never seen before, right? I guess otherwise you can just do a really good job of something that already exists. Right? Just be the best version of that thing. There's another route to go. The barber shops open on Friday. You guys can't even recognize me anymore without all this terrible hair. I'm gonna be like a brand new person out here. Alright, here we go. Right. The flow is leaving. It's so bad. It's so bad. At this point, I'm basically just like am embracing it, but it's a terrible air good. It's 
it's awful. It's in the way. It's like flippy. <laughs> I'll trim the beard. Just in sympathy, right? It looks weird when you have a, a clean haircut and a messy beard. I mean, I feel that way. Maybe other people like that combo. The contrast. I usually trim the beard before I go, but maybe, maybe waiting until after is a better strat, right? Because you know what to trim to. Over squats. And there's the chair one coming up, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, Miyamoto. We get it. This isn't my first time fitting the ring. It'd be so nice if you could turn those off, but hey. I'm sure they'll never do that. your handiwork to fit in. Okay, sounds good, Kanchi. Thanks for stopping by. You too. Enjoy. Get a good sleep. <laughs> Jeez, we're like halfway to a level. It's an awkward amount. I can just do a run. Like, why not, right? 
why not just try? What was my previous time here? It was a thirteen fifty eight. Exactly, my new nano implants. What's that? Bill? Yeah. Oh, Bill, he's just checking in. Don't you worry. Me and him talk now. All right, so I'm on live split. I could have done that at a time. I sure didn't. Why would you, right? Live split, of course, takes an hour to load. It's the most sophisticated program to run on any computer. So it makes sense that it has a boot time of an hour. No, we're not gonna update. Oh, we do something like that. Okay, it works. Control, reset. Okay, so the time to be here Bum bum bum. Boop ba da boop boop. Bill came to see a record. Bill wants those those WRs, baby. Bill needs them. If you don't give them to Bill, he gets angry. Did he? Got up. Okay. Okay, so there's a thing called world record now in the layout. Which is pretty cool. So if we go to splits. Maybe it's another. Add comparison, move down, insert below, insert above, additional information, real time. Okay, it doesn't allow you to, uh, to just enter in what the world record is. It's interesting. It's an interesting choice. I guess they're trying to maintain the integrity of speed running. Um, so, Maybe I can include a personal best thing then. Because at this point in time, it's kind of the same thing for these categories. Information, sum of best, total play time, title text, sum of best, delta, current comparison, sure. And how do I change the current comparison? I think I do this every time and then just give up, right? Do, 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 boom, back up, boom, boom. Comparing its average segments, okay. Yeah, if you have the world record and you get a PB, you do, it's both at the same time. I just can never figure out uh, how to do it. Do, 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 do. This is what happens every time. We can get rid of this. Or I go to, um, do the thing and um, okay compare against and the thing is in a weird spot so it's showing up weirdly 
Best segments, average segments, personal best. Yeah, okay, we'll see if that works. Okay, and then if I go to splits here. Oh, I see. Best segments. Interesting, okay, I think I'm learning. Okay, I think I'm learning. Okay, I'm gonna grab a towel, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, Zamboni towel, face towel. Yeah, the way that like uh, super duper clever speedrunners usually say it is like PB equals world record. PB equals WR, right? This sort of is a soft little gloat. Speedrunners can be strangely humble in not humble ways. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. That's a good question, though. The, um... I know that there's definitely game devs that think about speedrunners when making a game now, right? For, uh, for a game dev, they can be a valuable community. Okay, let's try doing a run here. It's enter, right? Okay. Three, two, one, go! I deleted my splits because the, um, that time that I accidentally double split it and did a zero second segment and ended the run like three minutes early. It was really screwing everything up. So after this run, the splits will look more like a real thing. Again. Thank you. Yeah, that can be funny. I mean, like, video games are developed for the 99%, right? They're not developed for speedrunners. So it's like a lot of times people release games knowing that there's edge cases that they haven't tested or knowing that there's like flaws in the game that aren't worth their fixing because the time and money investment into fixing them would help so few players. Especially in the case where like You can only produce a problem after intentionally doing something other than playing the game properly. close. 
All right. Weird judge in the chat, Skip. Yeah, totally. You're completely right. Yeah, Deb sees some bug that doesn't crash the game. You know, it doesn't crash the game. Less than 1% of players will see it. And the game mechanics kind of fix themselves soon after by pushing your character back in bounds or something. Fine. At a certain point, that's not even like a bug anymore. You know, it's like maybe suboptimal play experience for that tenth of a percentage point of players. But on their end, it sorted itself out, right? isn't a good luck. Having the care for character teleport around or get places it shouldn't be too soon is not awesome. But at a certain point, you know, if the game didn't crash, if it's still playing fine, the save file's not corrupted, and 99% of players never see it, leave it in, ain't broken, right? Okay. 
We're doing good. I'm worried about getting the level up here though. Nope. Not this time, game. At least there's no skill unlocked. Yeah, well, a lot of times it comes down to like fixing this bug will cost us $40,000 of developers and QA tester time, right? We would rather spend that on making stuff that players do see. This terrible haircut. Nice. Great level, great level. Tell me about water. Good.
go, go, go. Go, come on, please. Thank you. So the world record is 13.58. That's off by, off by four seconds. I hit that one bonk in level one. I had to level up. Yeah, and I had my knees. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do, right? So the game makes its own stuff up. Yeah. Those three things have got to be at least account for those four seconds. Oh, we got a follower, right? Silver Dion, thanks for the follow. If you can still hear me, I appreciate it. Appreciate you smashing that follow button. Yeah, totally. The uh, I didn't get the drop of the um, to the boat in the third level either, so that's good. <sighs> the jumps, the, the stairs are really clean. I think that's the most heartening things, right? I guess I lost points on, I had like one like error error, one like actual mistake. And, um, I guess I, I mean really if we're thinking about it the um, the issue with the level up was my fault I guess we're close enough to the world record now I mean the world I have a world record but like the world record is good enough now that I have to start counting for every second if I want to improve my time I can't uh, just do it for the chuckles anymore right we got we got to play real zone Oof. <clears throat> so that is one of the things that's sort of a pain about this category <sighs> is is you have to start on a fresh level for some of these worlds, right? doing this world is enough to get a level up, right? So if you start from anything other than like an empty XP bar, you get donked. That's kind of a pest. That's kind of a pest, eh? Let's look at um, the current times see if there's anything else I can take a look at today. I got some old times that uh, I wonder if I can can crush now. Yeah, it is a pain. It just means like a lot of prep, right? My world record for, or not my world record. I don't know if my, my level one is a world record. A world one is a world record. Let's take a look at it. I shouldn't say world record unless I really know, right? Um, and I really don't. Ring. Uh, 
Oh, I'm pressing the enter button. Uh, control. Reset. Level leader rolled. Yeah, Envy currently has the world record for World 1. He's got me beat by three seconds. Let's go take a look at that. I don't have what I don't have it in me to beat uh, to do World 18 again. It's too much. Let's see what's going on here. Refresh my memory on World 1. The floor is so wet. I'm gross. Turns out. <laughs> Meanwhile, my character is just happily running along. It's funny that this is what the beginning of the game looks like, right? Perspective is tough there, right? So bad. So bad. And then there's Transient Temple. I believe I'm capable of doing this faster than my old time now. Hey, Thierry Boo. I think this is just a bunch of stairs.
Okay. Seven, world eight, world nine. Where's world one? World one. Okay, let's try it. All I gotta do is save, uh, save three seconds to tie the world record. And I know I'm a lot better than my previous time. But let's take a quick look at this here. Oh, this is my old place. Yeah. Okay, I believe in me. I did it with a hat on, also. Which is kind of annoying of me, but hey, you know. Arrogance, that's what it is. Okay. Poof. Next time I do this, I'm gonna have had a haircut. It's gonna be way better. Thank you for being Audubon, pal. Okay, let's try it. Three, two, one, go. I've already lost time, so we're gonna restart. Yeah, my hair is weighing me down. This is like the hyperbolic time chamber, right? I'm wearing weighted hair. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Okay. Three, two, one, go! this for a while. They really need the ring. Seagull or a missile?
Alright. C'est magnifique. stairs. Okay, I lost a second somewhere. That's one second behind my PV. Oops. Where do you think I lost the second? Uh, it was very close. Um, the final set of stairs, I could have gotten a second set of hops on the stairs. What says your balls? Let's find out. I haven't done this for a while. Uh, the last set of stairs on the last level, I um, could have done better. And then there was also a very slight hiccup. I think it was on the very first set of stairs. So I don't know about the, the heart rate monitor thing. I don't know. Am I exercising moderately? You have to tell me. What do you think? I'd try that again. I think I have the endurance today to do another one of those. The question is, is, can I keep the floor clean enough to not break my uh, break my neck? <sighs> yeah, music, technology. I'm writing the soundtrack for a video game right now, and I'm making a Game Boy game. Lunar G25 slash music, Lunar G25 slash tech. Uh, once you get haircut, you'll have less drag. Uh, less wind resistance, which will speed me up in the game for sure. No doubt. No doubt there. Okay. I'd try another one. Let's do it. So, once again, we're going for a 324 or lower, or 354. If I can get a 324, we're going for a 354 or lower. 
Okay, three, two, one, go. I think I also drop the sprint really briefly in this level while memeing. I was like, oh, you don't even need the ring. And then I drop the sprint really briefly. We're getting pretty close to that level up. Okay, let's try again. Three, two, one, go. Five experience points. <laughs> that snare around the goes like a there. Okay. Ba -da -boom -boom. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Here we go. On another run coming in. <laughs> There you go. So I'm trying to cut it late in order to maximize the boost. But in doing so, <laughs> exactly, big bill. <sighs> 900, <sighs> 2,100, 2,800. Is there a way to see how much experience I need still? Oh, it's the credits. <laughs> World record for credits. Is there a way to show how many experience points you have left to level up? <laughs> We're not restarting. Oh boy. I don't know. Let's go for 20,000 calories, baby. All right, well, we'll just risk it. I think this is probably like the last one. I don't know, it's pretty close though. We'll just try it, like whatever, it's fine. 
I keep on not getting the world record, so I was fine with that. So if I don't get the world record this time, I'm going to be also fine with that. But we're, we'll try. We'll try. I'm just saying. I'm making fun of myself. That's what's happening here. I'm making fun of myself for being too conscious about it. Obviously, I do want to maximize my odds, but we can let these things go sometimes. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! missile gotta get through there's no way okay rather than do this foolishly let's uh let's um let's do one more actual run rather than run this one into oblivion and have to fail you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go find one of those monsters and murder. Just to get the level up. only gonna take one. <laughs> oh man. Remember the time I kicked the Hoplin right to hell? <laughs> oh, I just did a squad and it just exploded. Is that it? So close. those rings. Okay. We're gonna blow this guy up. Exactly. These are totally the Caterpies in Viridian Woods. Okay, now I'll actually do a run. This is the 2020 I Can Believe run.
2020, I can believe run. One more Zamboni. One more, uh, poor desk. <laughs> I'm disgusting. I'm a monster. Okay. On the other hand, no one can say I'm not working hard. It's, it's hard to tell because I'm wearing black, right? Okay. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Twenty twenty, I believe. What are you doing, Ring? You're drunk. That was great. That was really good. Seagull missile. You pull the ring. I don't want to hear about water. I know all about water. Had better stairs than that, but I've also had way worse. So. All right, give me good stairs. Give me good stairs. No. Okay. That's really close. That's really close. You know what it was? So I need the I need the three boosts 
on the last set of steps. Okay, so I beat my own record. I, I beat my personal best by two seconds. So that means Oh, you know what, actually? Oh, cool. All right, I've got really good news. I got really good news. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong page. I was looking at the long reader board. That's a world record. That's tied for first. So previously, previously, my personal best for world one was 158th, which was tied for second, okay? And Envy, another Canadian, another Canadian uh, speedrunner, had the world record at three minutes and fifty-five seconds. So this is a tied world record now. This is, uh, you know, that's it's better. <laughs> I wish I had better hair for the moment. <sighs> okay, here we go. I know I can take another second off that. We're not going to do it today. We're going to leave that for next week. Because I'm running out of fluids to sweat. But uh, that is a world record right there, baby. Tied, but hey. That's the way it is. Three fifty-five. I can definitely take another second off that. I can definitely do it. That feels good. That feels good. Level runs. So there's only one other category in this game. I don't know, I felt good. It felt good. I, uh, you know got into it and I realized that the the pain had the soreness in my arm had nothing to do with the strength available in it. It just sort of feels sore regardless of what I'm doing. So um so that's sweet. Hi YouTube or whatever. Um so there's only one other category where I have a second place. Other than that, all my times for this game are first place. So I've got a sec I've got a tied I've got a second place in World 2 as well. Where Envy's got me, uh, oh, who is it? Yeah, some Noah player's got me beat by a few seconds. Exactly, exactly. Okay, I think it's uh, time for cool down. So that's great news. That's great news, everyone. I only have one silver left on my my scorecard. I want to turn them all gold again. <laughs> Certainly, I want to try, right? I want to try. All right. A lot of running today. World three is running heavy, right? We only need 55 squats. It's like not even an exercise at all. Yeah. Uh, less than 100 squats. It's just you're basically going for a stroll in the park. I'm into that. Remember that time when I didn't realize I got a world record? <laughs> It turns out I did. Même chose de l'autre côté. <laughs> you know, there's some people who like in the games they speed run. They have like the records for all the categories memorized. And they know everything about the game. I don't even know what my own times are. Oh well, we're having fun. Levez les bras et attrapez votre coude gauche. Tirez le haut du bras en tirant le coude vers le bas. Même chose de l'autre côté. 
<laughs> exactly. Just try my best. I'm gonna go make some noodles. After having a shower, of course. Steam some veggies. Yum, yum, yum. I wonder if you, I wonder if you get experience points from the cooldown. Not that it really matters now. I'm like level like 257 or something. Some super duper doesn't matter level. baby good jerib well everybody thanks for cheering me on we got the w the old wr day we'll go back to make it untied unless envy strikes back i guess envy hasn't run the game in over a year now we'll see maybe taking a record from him will inspire him to come back and quite frankly it would be nice to have more competition, you know what I mean? It's more fun. I'm talking to you, audience. <laughs> but uh, thanks so much for the stream, everybody. It was a good time. I always have fun. I'm gonna go bathe now. We'll see if there's anybody worth raiding. Let's we'll see if we can do a raid just for fun. Same problem as always. I guess nobody I follow it streams at 7 p.m. on a weeknight. Just me. Okay. Well, uh, you're gonna have to go do the solo raid. If you go to somebody else's channel to show up, yell raid. If they wanna know what you're talking about, refuse to explain yourself. Okay. Have a good night, everybody.